talk about doing some dry matters on mangoes. Okay, so we cut both cheeks off of the mango. And we use an apple core to take a plug from each cheek. Now we only need a centimetre of plug. We just take the end off and then also the skin. And then we slice the plug so it takes less time to dry. We label two patty papers, one and two, for the two sides of the mango. Then we weigh them. Can we record that reading? Do the same for the other one. And then we put the sliced up plug in the patty paper. And then we take the wet weight and record it. And do the same for the other plug. the wet weight has been recorded, you then put it into either your desiccator or your microwave. And turn it on. When you put the plugs into a desiccator, you leave it in there for 48 hours to dry. We could take two readings at 48 hours. And if there's no change, then all of the moisture has gone from the plug and that'll be your dry weight. And if you are using a microwave, you put the plugs into the microwave with a, with a cup of water so they don't get too hot. And you heat them on medium for one minute intervals. After each one minute interval, take a weight. And when the weight stops changing, that's then your dry weight and it's completely dry. Once you have your wet and dry weight, you will need to calculate the dry matter. To do this, you can either use a calculator or in this demonstration, we will be using a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Here is our spreadsheet. It has the calculation at the top for you to remember. This is wet weight divided by dry weight multiplied by 100. There are three labelled columns, one for the wet weight, one for the dry weight, and one for the formula. Remember to subtract the weight of the patty pans before you enter your data. So for this example, we will enter a wet weight of three and a dry weight of around 0.4. Type in your values and then enter the formula. Dry weight divided by wet weight and then hit enter. This will give you a figure with many decimal places. You can either finish the formula by adding a star 100 to multiply the figure by 100, or you can select the cell and then go up to the toolbar and click on the percentage icon. This will automatically convert your figure to a percentage by multiplying it by 100. Either way, you now have a dry matter. If you have entered more than one set of data, you can copy the formula from one cell and paste it into another to avoid having to type it out again.